Hello, my name is Carlos, and this is Kingdoms, where all your nerdy dreams come true. This is Season 4, Episode 4 of the Diamond Commander League. We try to play High Power EDH, where our only banned card is Thassa's Oracle. We are super excited to be back in the Kingdom studio, and we hope to be able to continue to bring you games like this. To do so, that's only going to be possible by the continued support of our patrons. Consider becoming a patron by going to patreon.com slash kingdoms tv. We have a private discord, game nights, and a ton more. I think you'll enjoy it. If you can't support us by becoming a patron, the next best option is to smash the like button and subscribe to our channel. Either way, thanks so much for being here, and let's jump into our deck explanations. First we have John M playing Mirko Vosk Mind Drinker. This deck wants to use Mirko Vosk to mill out his opponents. If Mirko can't do it, then there are a few mill combos to finish the job. I have transcended from Blood of the Heart to Blood of the Mind. John's starting hand includes a Swamp, Cabal Coffers, Thespian Stage, Drown in the Lock, Mind Crank, Ashiok Dream Render, and Whispering Madness. Second, we have Carlos playing Maga, Traitor to Mortals. This deck wants to use all the mana doublers that Black has access to to cast a bunch of demons, Huge Commander, or other Black game ending spells. I wonder what would happen if Liliana and Maga met. Who's the greater traitor? Carlos' starting hand includes four snow-covered swamps, charcoal diamond, jet medallion, and damnation. Third, we have Jason playing Wilhelt the Rock Cleaver. This deck is a zombie tribal deck, taking advantage of Wilhelt's abilities, get more zombies, and card advantage. If the horde doesn't overwhelm you, there are a few zombie combos that definitely will. Wilhelt is a bit misunderstood. He's just really into recycling. Jason's starting hand includes an Island, Bloodstained Mire, Darkwater Catacombs, Phyrexian Tower, Demonic Tutor, Vengeful Dead, and Ghoul Caller Gisa. Fourth, we have Dylan playing Magetta the Lion. This deck is an Angel Tribal deck with the goal to Wrath the Board and then follow up with Powerful Angels. There is no plan B with this deck as it's made up of Wraths, Angels, and Reanimation. The Book of Prophecy, Chapter 6, Verse 5 Then one of Sarah's angels came to me and said, Thou shalt wrath the board. Dylan's starting hand includes four planes, Angelic Renewal, Angel of Jubilation, and Stone Hewer Giant. All right, let's play some magic. Draw for turn. I will play Swamp for turn and pass. All right, draw. I'll play a snow-covered Swamp and pass. Draw. Oh, and I see your Swamp, and I'll play a Bloodstained Mire, and Ooh. I'll pass. And I'll draw. It's basically a Swamp. Let's play F Plains and pass. We're totally high power. F's in the chat. <laughs> no, <I'm just> kidding. <laughs> <laughs> draw for turn. I Coolness. Do. I like. I like the theme of this whole deck. Fabled Passage, Ooh. I'll sacrifice that immediately and I'll, I'll snag an island tapped and then I will pass turn. My turn, I will draw. I will play another snow-covered swamp. Those are pretty. Those are pretty. All right, I will play a charcoal diamond tapped. I'll, I'll crack my bloodstained mire. And after I have played that, I will pass the turn. Watery Grave. I did not shock it in, untap, draw. Tap it for a Crypt Breaker. What's that one do? Uh, he's like a Planeswalker. Uh, one mana, one, one. He has, for one and a black, tap, discard a card. I make a 2-2 two, two black zombie creature token. And then I can tap three untapped zombies I control. I draw a card and lose a life. Wow, that's pretty and good. And then... Is I, that new? No, it's not. No. He's old. Yeah. I'll play an island and pass. Cool. I'm going to draw. I will play a Planes. And I'm just going to get this out and... Je I'm going to play Angelic uh, Renewal. Uh, just whenever a creature is put into my graveyard from the battlefield, you can sacrifice this, and if I do, return that card to the battlefield. And I'll pass. Untap. Hope you don't Draw. use that with Sun Titan. And a sack outlet. Does that? Oh, wow. I didn't even think about that. Well, the, what's the Altar of Dementia? Yeah, I've died to that. Uh, I'll mill everybody that's, out with those three cards. That's so good. I will play Thespian Stage as my land for turn. Nice. Then I'll tap those three. I will cast Tribute Mage. For a two cost artifact card, and it goes in my hand, and then I'll shuffle. What you gonna get? I guess. Trionic. 
Strionic Resonator. I'm going to get the Strionic Resonator. Yeah. Oh, that's the Forky guy. Yeah. <laughs> forky. Yeah, fork for trigger. Or for, yeah, trigger. That doesn't play. I will pass. Okay. Untap. Draw a card. I'm going to play a, another Snow-Covered Swamp. Sparkle, sparkle. And... I was hoping he I'd get something else, but I'll just play Jet Medallion. And That's then, the correct uh, play. Pass the turn. Untap. Draw. He's got a combat. I'm going to attack. Dylan. Uh, one. One zombie damage. Post combat. Let's play a uh, Misty Rainforest. And I'm going to go ahead and cast this now for a Demonic Tutor. Ooh. And. Well, good game, fellas. Nice job. Oh. It was fun. Yep. Was no. Fun. I need. I should have put more interaction here. Yes. Play a jeweled lotus. <laughs> then I'm gonna crack this. <coughs> Golden. <coughs> Losing a life. Get that. Don't worry. I got. I got some tricks. And I'm gonna cast my commander. What does he do again? That's a great question. Next to, ga- to decayed zombies. Okay. Will help the rot cleaver. Three three. Um, oh dear, you didn't see that. <gasps> uh-huh. Whenever another zombie you control dies, if it didn't have decayed, create a 2 2 black zombie creature token with decayed. Non zombie creature? Um, whenever another zombie. Another zombie, okay. Whenever any zombie without decayed that yeah. I control dies, I get a 2 2 with decayed. Even if it's wow. a token? A regular token dies. Yeah. You get a decayed one. <laughs> that's Correct. that's where that, it like, pop it, so pop pop it pop factory? It's, yeah, pop mm. it factory Freaking. gets rid of decayed. So gotcha. Just Keep on going. You just cycle through that bad boy. There's you could spawn a whole movie uh, it's genre. An infinite factor. Um, and then at the beginning of my end step, I may sacrifice a zombie if I do draw a card. Okay, yeah, I'll pass. Cool. Untap, draw, play land, and I'll pass. Maybe a planes. Untap, draw for turn. Uh, see how Dylan's sitting now. <laughs> you can't see what's up my sleeve. You can't. So I'll play to do Cabal that. Coffers oh. is my land for turn. Come on, I need my Cabal Coffers. Well, I need more swamps, let's be honest. Yeah. Now, clarification. Cabal Coffers does not tap for colorless on its own, correct? There's no... Yep. Nope. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't do anything until, until you activate it, yes? Yeah, yes. right now... Unless you have Urborg. Right now, yes, in which case, Urborg. You probably right now, you lose <laughs> mana. <laughs> but one or two. Okay. You can sink it in if you want. You can tap three lands and make one. Okay, I'll tap two. I'll cast Surrounding Resonator, and then I will pass the turn. After I attack Dylan for two... Whoa. <laughs> What's up with this game? They don't want you to blow up their creatures. I'm not planning on blowing up creatures. Perfect. Like I said, I just like his artwork. <laughs> it is great artwork. Okay, <laughs> untap, draw a card. I'm going to play creatures I don't want dead. Play a, a snow-covered swamp. Are they all matching? Uh-huh. Good. I think okay. I just only with more the... mana. Yeah. yeah. I have, like, why not? In hand you might as well. That's what your character your, does. Your, like, your Yielded character. Lotus. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that's, uh, that's well, a yeah, pretty three one, one yeah, color. Yeah. Tap okay. that gilded lotus Secular? into burnished heart. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> all the mana, you guys. All the mana. Good thing Pass you don't turn. have ball coffers. Uh, <laughs> you're attacking me. <laughs> Untap. Um, I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna get back at you guys. <laughs> I didn't attack you. No, not you. Those oh, two. Okay. Right. I'll play a Phyrexian Tower. No, I'll play the Vengeful Dead. That should be a cool. Oh. oh. Whenever it or another zombie yeah. that anyone controls. Uh, is put into a graveyard from play. Each opponent loses one life. So just cycle those tokens out, man. Oh, it's got a combat. I'm attack Dylan for. F- I'm attack John for gaining three <laughs> commander damage. No, he's got a creature. Um, and John for three, and Dylan for one. Ooh, you almost gained favor. Go ahead. I take All three. Right. Play planes. Tap four. Play Angel of du- Jubilation. Oh, wow. What the crap is this? Who Angel plays, deck, who Angel, plays deck. Angel of Jubilation? Oh, that's amazing. Players that's can't cool. pay life or sacrifice uh, creatures to cast spells or activate uh, abilities. It's like for wait, me too. You can't sack to activate spells. Yeah. I can't. Or burnished heart. So triggered yeah. abilities are you, okay, yeah, right? Yeah. 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 But you can't sacrifice anything. Yeah. 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 As a cost. I'll just tap on. You, you, he'll, he'll, he'll be my sack outlet. <laughs> no, I'm not going to destroy my own stuff. I told you. All right, uh, that's my turn. In the jungle of war, there's always a lion. Other other non-black creatures I control get plus one, plus one. Well. So Draw for I, turn. Can't, I can't sack Burnished Heart, right? Uh, is it part of the cost? Yeah, let's see. Is it part of the cost to sacrifice it? Yeah. Then no. <laughs> okay, I'll tap three. I will cast the Sword of Hearth and Home. Ooh, nice. Blink something that you own? 
Mm-hmm. And, and like a tribute mage. And I can get a mat and I can get a land. Nice. Okay. Very nice. So okay, let's have I'll swing at Jason and have him gamble on his vengeful dead. <laughs> I'll take two. <laughs> and pass. Alright, Dick. Let's see some demon. Got mana for some random demon now, baby. Have draw it, for turn. <laughs> wow, let's just draw freaking snow covered swamps for eternity. <sighs> Should have shuffled better. But you're just setting up to go off big. Yeah, Nothing's I happened mean, to you yet. I need like you're good. He'll rebuild after like the first board wipe. Or maybe the second. <laughs> Let's do three, four, five, six for Cage Sun. <laughs> Yowza. Carlos has roughly a billion mana. Does he get a one shot us when he casts the commander? Basically. I need 40 mana. It's not commander no, damage. You need at least 36. <laughs> and then you attack with something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, fast turn. Yeah, you're at 40. Everyone else is at a much smaller life He's total. He's a third of the way there, actually. Right. Who wants to be the target? I'm going to untap. Draw. Let's play the Dark Water Catacombs. Um, did I say black? Because I would assume. Yeah. I infer that you Can chose I borrow black. one of those little. Uh, I'm gonna make black, black, blue, black, blue. Cast Great Merchant. Ooh, um, what's your devotion? Jeez. One, two, three, four, five. Wow. Fifteen life. Fifteen. Okay, okay. You can target Jason when you cast your commander, Carlos. Mm-hmm. Two, four. <laughs> Two two. <laughs> two two. Oh, he summoned sickness. I'm gonna attack Carl but no, he gets doesn't get bonus. No, nope, he's not he's black. He's not black. Uh-huh. So I'll attack you with my commander, Carlos. I'm gonna attack John for four. Four. I will block. I will take the four. And I'll pass. I'll untap. You should kill him. Jura. <laughs> <laughs> Crap. Because I can't sacrifice him. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. I'll just uh, I'll just pass. Draw for turn. Okay, I'll play Sunken Hollow as my land for turn. Yeah, have, swamp. Love that I have land. Two or more basic lands, so it is untapped. Hooray! Oh, it, it's a swamp. Yep, it's island a swamp. swamp island. Yeah, it's pretty. So now Cabal Coffers taps for two. Ooh ah. Alrighty, I will do these two. Just pick a swamp. And I will equip the sword to the tribute mage. If I can grab it. There we go. So it is now a 4-4 four, four pro green, pro white. Cool. Four? <laughs> Carlos yep, four does have roughly a billion mana. If I could have had the great merchant just drain him, I would have. Combat damage trigger. I will exile this and then have it come back in. And then I will search for a land card. And that goes onto the battlefield. I'll pull a swamp so my it's coffers tapped, actually has. It's not tapped. It just says put both cards onto the battlefield under your control. Wow. Oh, that's fancy. Oh, and I just remembered uh, Tribute Mage came back in, so I got to search for a two cost artifact. Mm-hmm. Demir Signet, that can go in my hand. That can help pay for coffers, maybe. Let's we'll see. And then I'm good with that. That goes in my hand. One, two. Tap Cabal Coffers for one, two, three black. I will play Demir Signet. Go figure. What? Two, one floating, plus two. I tapped that for three. I used two of that to play the signet. So yeah. I've got one and left one over. Block. One block. And one. I got so one more. So I got two floating. Oh, two block. Yep. Uh, I and mean, you can put it into your Dibnir signet. Correct. Dibnir. Actually, let's put one of those into the signet. So now I've got a blue, a black, and a black. Yep. And I'll use those mm-hmm. three. I will cast Fire Shrieker. Cool. Cool. Right? And uh, I'm good. I will pass. Nice. Are you just going to one-shot us with your commander? Maybe that's his goal. <laughs> Draw for turn. I'd maybe like, I'd maybe like a different it. way. I'm, yeah. I'm all right seeing that. Fire triggers is basically. Play a snow covered swamp. <gasps> Let's go ahead and see what I get. I will cast damnation. Whoa! Oh, Whoa! Whoa. It's cost four. Hmm. Okay. Boop. Yeah, cost like, three. Yeah, it cost three for him. Oh, we have some triggers. Um, I'm going to resolve. I mean, they all die, and then the triggers go in the stack, but. Um, first thing is Vengeful Dead. No one else has zombies, right? No. Okay. One, two, three, four zombies die. So each opponent loses four life. Carlos did this. So you each lose four? You, you did this. <laughs> you, you each lose <laughs> Your four? Your things are literally making us lose a life. And then uh, Will Help will trigger. 
And his is whenever another zombie I control. And... It's just destroyed, right? It's not exile? Correct. See. Okay. Oh, okay. I really don't want you to start, like, sacking stuff and going off. These aren't zombies that attack, you know. I mean, they... they you, oh, you are I, uh, sacrificing? I'll sac uh, once Angel of Jubilation goes to the graveyard, I will sacrifice the, an uh, the angelic, angelic renewal to bring it back. Cool. Okay. And then I'll play an 11-11 Maga. Woo! Um, but someone only loses 10 because he only is 11-11 because of Caged Son. Gotcha. Uh, lose 10, John. 10. What do you think I'm going to do? Pay life? <laughs> Wait, actually, so I pay 12, 13, but then effectively 14. So he's actually an 11-11, so he loses one more life. And then he's currently a 12-12 because of the Caged Son. Gotcha. So yep. I will then pass the turn. Untap. You need a blocker. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> I need haste is what I need. <laughs> yeah. Now, we can't use fetch lands, right? No. Is that what that says? Yep. Okay, cool. Exotic that. Orchard. Well, how many other cards are in your hand? Three. Okay. 33% lands. You know it. <laughs> um, at least. At least. Yeah, this is a sad Phyrexian Tower, but I um, think I'm just going to cast my commander again. And that was six mana. Um, and I will not attack, go to end step, and I will sacrifice a zombie, draw a card. Go ahead. Okay. I will draw. I will play a planes. And four, five. Um, I'm just going to play Thalia's Lancers. Ooh. Linvala. <laughs> 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 it's good uh, right now. We dare not speak her name. <laughs> I'll get four Haven. Is that what? the prevent damage one? Uh, yes. Grant, like May prevent I? all like, combat damage. Prevent all combat that damage. Would. That would be dealt. Hey, but I can prevent. Miracle. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And then I will pass the turn. I will untap <laughs> and draw for turn. Okay, I'll tap this one. I'll use the signet mana to pay for Cabal Coffers. That'll give me three black. I'll play a blue <laughs> and two. <laughs> Some good filter. Ooh, right, right. right. Okay, oh, yeah. What does he do? He's a two-four flyer. Okay. Whenever he deals combat damage, you mill until you mill four uh, four land. Dude, I should let him hit me a couple times. I'm a bad target because I yeah, got but so much land still in my <laughs> <laughs> He'll do it. He'll do it for f f sixteen land. Fire oh, streaker. Fire streaker. If he has double strike, we'll do it twice. Okay. I will give him the sword. Green and white. Green and white. So now he's a four six. I am tapped out. I will pass. All right. Untapped. Just drawn all of his lands. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I have one card in hand. Two now. Drop turn. Attack Jason for twelve commander damage. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what's your blocker there, Jason? Your only blocker. Ooh. Y'all yeah, chump. Yeah. Okay. That's worth jumping. Put him in the graveyard. graveyard. <gasps> oh, exile no. it. <laughs> exile it. Now. He's got plans. He's got plans. I can't exile. What are you gonna do? Oh, then I'll put in the command zone. I'm paying 16 mana, and I'm putting eight counters on Everflowing Chalice. <laughs> oh, my I think that's, like, the gosh. best thing that could have happened. Oh, right? my god! I was 100% <laughs> expecting um, uh, Torment of Hellfire, and then I was like, we're all just dead. My turn? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna draw. I'll play a Polluted Delta. Sad Delta. And I'm going to cast Zombie Apocalypse. No. Return all zombie cards from my graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, stay. And destroy humans. Dang it. I'm actually okay. Oh. I'm just kidding. Exactly. Yeah. It literally just takes out all these lancers. Exactly. Carlos, we're friends. Um, gray merchant triggers. Um, Be being real, so you can kill one, me. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Everyone's going to lose five life. I, I think, think it was I, 27. 27? Yes. Okay. I'm going to gain 15. 15. 56. Execute. Yeah. <laughs> Tap these three. Lose a life and draw a card. Activating Crit Breaker's second ability. And then I will end my turn and sacrifice one of these dorks and draw another card. On tap. Uh, sorry, I forgot Vengeful Dead triggers on both of those, so you all lose two life. Oh. Oh, John. <laughs> Wait, my, play that core, Haven. You could kill me, John. 
Just die. <laughs> Wait, why would he you die? You can't fire me, I quit. If, if these die... Well, you, if you die, then he's okay. Correct. Yeah. If I actually die. Three, four, five. Which, I'm just going to play a Stone Hewer Giant. Oh, oh nice one. Nice one. And uh, and then I'll pass. Draw for it's, turn? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, uh, here's what we'll do. I'll tap this for black, or tap it for blue. Blue, blue. Uh, signet mana for blue, and I got a black floating. I'll cast Fractured Sanity. Each opponent mills 14 cards. Whee! Oh, wow. We're going to give him 14 cards. Um, there was a Grave Crawler and Relentless Dead who both have abilities. Or no, he's the only when he dies. So. Um, I do have some demons that are in there, if that matters. But the thing that probably matters the most is I have increasing ambition in here now. Ooh. Tap for black. Use the one floating. I'll use Cabal Coffers to get three floating. Three floating black. Oosh. Use two of that. I'll give Miracle Vosk double strike. Yeah. Woo. Why not? Let's swing for the fence. I'll use one and two. I'll cast Mind Crank. <laughs> what? <laughs> How does that work? Whenever, whenever an lose opponent life? loses life, so not me. Okay. Whenever an opponent loses life, that player puts that you, you mill that many cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, but you don't have uh, mm. Blood Chief Ascension, right? That was combo, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. And the Dusk Mantle Guild Mage. Mm-hmm. Seems fine. Five mana. Well, I she think does you have can mill deck. someone out, and I do have that. But yeah, let's swing at Jason for four. Flying, Jeez. right? Four flying. Uh, you better be killing Jason because he's the Kay. one that... Uh, so I'll take four commander damage or does it prevent six. his damage? Six. So, so three, if it goes through... Three, uh, sorry, eight commander damage. I have no flying, so... Kay. Eight. Eight total? So four, yeah. Four, he's a four... What? He's a four six. Oh. Eight total? So and eight then, total and then you will mill until you hit four land. That's the first trigger for first strike damage. And then you will mill again for four more okay. land on this what? double strike damage. You. Oh, one land. I got your hand. Two, two, two three, three, four. That's one. One. Oh, two, two, three, three four. 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 Okay. What's it? Are you doing the strionic? He kills that mana. Okay. Nope. That's it. I made everybody mill fourteen instead. Uh, great. So, Which is what you call it is oh, your sure yeah. So that was yeah, that was the luckiest part. If I, yeah, if I well, I'm sure you have um, Patriarch's bidding style. or no Patriarch's bidding. No. What? Uh, I'm a purist. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> Patriarch's bidding is perfect. <laughs> I, I need the OG art. Oh, uh, the new I have, so I have one. I'll trade it. I, I do. Love, I love the wear. Yeah, Carlos has one. I'll trade one to you. The new art's pretty cool. Okay, combat damage trigger on the sword. Uh, I'll exile him. Yeah, you actually comes do back that. In. It you says do, up it, to. So yeah, you blink. You can you only get one trigger from the sword. Can you blink any creature? Or has oh, no, no. Right you, can, you, you can trigger <laughs> it twice. <laughs> it's up He's to one. Gonna, just like, so it's up to one. So what I trigger it. You only will blink it, one time. Yeah. But you yeah. get two yeah, yeah. lands. So I get, get two lands. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Yeah. Nice. Because it's up to one creature blinked. So the first time he will do zero. So the first time it goes through, and I'll get a look for land. Right. And then Otherwise it would second negate time the second through. trigger. Otherwise it wouldn't do, do damage. Right. And, it w- and he comes back happen. in, unequips. So that part's there, Why? but he's untapped. That's so a that's good nice. safety. Untap him, I guess. Because he gets two lands and he can re-equip it, and then it's untapped. I will do the thing. I'll give him the sword one more time. My turn. I've got an untapped blocker. Okay. Pass. Oh, and you, you milled for, for damage, right? Did you mill for that one, too? I milled eight lands. You no. Milled, no, no, no. Did, but you also milled the damage. So eight more cards. Yeah. Get it. Actually, Get we it did out. it wrong. You're supposed to do it in between. Yeah, yeah. sorry. Ooh, the side grip. Yeah. yeah. Okay, draw for turn. Until someone's going to randomly exile our graveyard, so I'm going to use this before that's too late. Increasing ambition with nice. flashback. Three things? Um, two things. Two, uh, things. two of anything. Um, two of anything. One, two, three, four. Actually, let's do eight colorless. I'll just do it like this. So I have one colorless floating plus um, charcoal diamond is enough for the flashback. Tap those two things for eight mana, or for nine mana, really. Um, I will go search for two cards. See what I can do here. I have threshold. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all have threshold. I do not have threshold. Mm-hmm. It's okay. enough to slow things too. down. I think I just tap out for this. Do it. You, you came here to do two things, Carlos. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's what more is than that? 10, isn't it? <laughs> Finale of Eternity. 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 So, so X is 15. X is 15. Which means? 
which means I can kill up to three target creatures with toughness X or less. So three target 15 or creatures. Less? 15 or less. Here um, everybody. And then I get That's all everybody. creatures from your, my graveyard to the battlefield. Well, I'm going to let you choose your targets, and then I might, yeah. you know, deflecting SWAT. And I will <laughs> choose. Power. You can. power, right? Yeah. Uh, toughness. Oh. Less than 15. Oh, no, it has to be. Oh, it's three creatures. Yeah. Yeah. I'll kill your commander, Jason, or I'll target your commander. I'll target Vengeful Dead. Yeah, and your Crypt Dude. Sorry, not his commander? Yeah, if he hits me, he has to kill me. Otherwise, I'll just cast my commander and kill him. So I don't think I'm that scary straight. to him either. Are. The leverage Cat. swings his way. <laughs> In <laughs> response, I'm going to tap these three and activate Crypt Breaker's second ability. Drawing a card, losing a life. And then which ones you target? These two? These three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, death triggers then. So first... I'll get two of these guys from these guys dying. And then we have three triggers from Vengeful Dead, so each of my opponents will lose three life. No! And Half my life I'll let them go to the command zone. Okay, then I'll get some demons back. Not that many, unfortunately, but it's a few creatures. I get a Leaden Mirror. So a Reaver Demon, effectively just a 6-6 six, six flyer at this point. Um, Herald of Torment is a... 3-3, three, three, at the beginning of my upkeep, I lose a life. It's sort of unfortunate. He has Bestow. Bestow. Yeah, but I can't bestow it. And then Mind Rack Demon has Delirium. I'd lose four life unless I have four different card types, which I do. You're delirious. Um, and it also mills myself, mills me four. On ETB? And then uh -huh, and then I have Leaden Mirror and Burnished Heart. Wow. Which Such I messed up. I should four have creatures um, and all of that? used some of the extra mana to just Burnished Heart. No, I can't. You can't. Zero oh, fun. Oh, then, yeah. No, that's great. You're good. Wow. Um, I wish I had more than five creatures to get out of my graveyard. Something yeah, like that. Yeah, I'll pass turn. Untap. Draw. I'm going to play Mox Diamond, discarding a Scalding Tarn. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> <laughs> Got to play around Dylan here. Get good use out of that card. I'm so happy I put this in my deck. I'm going to cast Rot Hulk. <clears throat> mm. Five, five, Menace. When he enters the battlefield, return up to X target zombie cards from my graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the number of opponents. So three. I have. Please. Ooh, nice I get three choice. Anything. The reason I didn't kill Great Merchant. <laughs> nice. nice. Sad. Sad sounds. It's okay. Jason's just going to attack me anyway, so it's okay. What are you talking about? Decayed zombies don't kill you always. <laughs> I can attack Dylan, and they die on death. I'll kill them. DC's a zombie. Hordewing Scabs a zombie. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get those. So, we uh, got a couple ETBs. Uh, once DC enters the battlefield, well, actually, I'll, I'll do this one first because this one's more relevant for you guys. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, I may sacrifice up to three zombies. When I sacrifice one or more zombies this way, each opponent sacrifices that many creatures. Ooh. Um, and what's your life total, John? Three. Um, so I'll sacrifice two to my ravenous raw belly. So each of my no, I'll sacrifice three. So each of my opponents have to sacrifice three creatures. Oh no, the guy that was going to hurt me. Sweet. <laughs> and then um, Sidisi's trigger, and then I will exploit Great Merchant. So Sidisi lets me demonic tutor. Oh, well, he's I, tapped out. I could have gotten different zombies just to kill him. I'll admit, I'm surprised he but, didn't attack I, me I, first I and then up. cast his second I main. Screwed up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just, That's what I, I I'm just realized. Saying, like, yeah. uh, I'm like, I screwed up I'm not gonna argue. last turn with how I did things too, so no worries. I, my deck's just screwing up. You're I doing just, great. Well, so I, got I mean, it's mono white. It's just. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get that He's magic card. Bird. Yeah, uh, just not doing what I'm hoping to do. Um, and then uh, I will pass the turn. Oh, I'm alive. And then watch. I'm going to drop Dismantle Guild Mage and win on my turn. That That'd would be, be hilarious. so funny. You deserve it, yeah. Well, mine's pretty much if I don't I win on my it. turn, I'm dead. He's in mono white. He, he'll... <laughs> <laughs> I can do three. things. He'll, I can. He'll play Lightning Jeez. Greaves. Uh, and then... Oh, no. Oh, it's I'm an idiot. There we yeah, go. there you go. Whatever. Whatever. Court of Grace. What does it do? Uh, Angel monarch. tokens. He's monarch. the monarch. I oh, enter. Or nice. enters. I become the monarch. And I'm then... down with being the monarch. Yeah, yeah monarch. I know. I know. Here. Take this monarch token. Oh, sick. 
And basically that's all I'm gonna be doing. So I will end my turn and draw a card and I don't make anything. If he draws that guild match. it. Then it was Dylan's fault. No, it was my fault because I could have gotten something that did three points of damage on ETP. I guess it's my fault too. I could have killed John for like five turns now. But <laughs> it, why? <laughs> Untap, draw for turn. I hope he you does it. You won't believe it. Oh my no. I cannot no. make you believe it. It was already in your hand? No, no I drew he it. He I top, top deck it right it. now. Yeah. Man. That's, that, that sucks. Now here's what we'll do. Okay, I will cast it because I'll play it out. Yeah, yeah. I'll cast Dust Mantle Guild Mage. And then he has an ability that says, whenever a card is put into an opponent's graveyard from anywhere this turn, that player loses one life. So how do so you make us? He then he has the mill. His, his second, second ability, ability is pay yeah. four. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into their graveyard. Oh. So you mill, you take damage. So you, you have to activate damage. both abilities, right? Correct. I have to ha and you have enough mana to activate I need enough mana abilities. to activate both of them. And I will pay two okay, yeah. to activate Cabal Coffers. Three, four, five. Mm, yeah. So five, and then I'll pay the two. Eight, seven. Two, six, seven. I'm so conflicted. <laughs> um, did you, oh, wait, did you say what happened? Did hold you on say a what second. happened? Oh, gotcha. Um, it says target player. It doesn't say each opponent. Okay, yeah. yeah, if I don't kill those two, then Ooh. I'm dead anyway. So it's down to me and you? Yeah. Well, I can only get rid of one player at this point. Yeah. I think mm. you should roll a dice. Yeah. I think you I, should just kill me. But I will roll a dice. But it's your choice. You have the control. Carlos and I will arm wrestle. Um, <laughs> I'll lose. Yeah. I, I think you should hey. roll a dice between them two. Let's have it be between you two, odd or even. Uh, let's have Carlos be even, and Jason will be odd. And this it. is a randomized D20, so it's more fair, it's I guess. True random. Yeah. 16. Okay. I will target Carlos. Okay. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> How does this end? Um, well, Jason's going to kill me. Hopefully with zombies. Okay. That fly. And have death touch. Okay, I'll put the sword on the guild mage, Stop. and then I will pass. Untap. Draw. Oh, I can use this now, can't I? Mm -hmm. Oh, my goodness. Mm. I'm going to crack that because I don't have enough life. And get a land. Should have made sure I uh, had something I could get first. <laughs> I learned my lesson, though. Let's go. How many creatures do you have, John? Uno. How many creatures do you have? Is it a f no? That's I, just the I monarch token, no, mine's right? A four, four. Oh, yours a Charizard. Is a four, four? Yeah, he's got a Charizard. Earth I have one creature. Does so not have does me. not have flying. Both of these are coming at John. These two are coming at Dylan. Okay. Dylan's grand total of damage is going to be seven. John, you're going to take more than three. enough. <laughs> we got a couple triggers. Whenever one or more zombies I control deals combat damage to one of my opponents, I may draw a card equal to the number of opponents dealt damage this way. If I do, discard that many cards. So we'll draw two because I'm addicted to magic cards. And then I will discard a Swamp and Ghoul Caller Gisa. Three, four, five, six. And I'll cast Liliana Dreadhorde General. And then I'll cast Cover of Darkness, naming Zombie. Okay. Um, Are you done? No, I need to activate my planeswalker. Oh, you also have this. Oh, wow. I'm the, mon I'm the monarch. You're the king. Um, these are. There we go. Wait. Activate Liliana. Yeah. Uh, plus one. And okay. I'll create a 2 2 black zombie. Mm -hmm. And I'll pass turn draw a card for being the monarch. I'll untap. I make a token. It's a 1 1 human uh, soldier. 1 1 white spirit creature token. With fl flying? No. Oh. Yeah, we're flying. Hey, there we go. Wow. You yourself. See, if I, I wouldn't have been able to do that if I was the monarch. I'll draw for my turn. Tokens available in the kingdoms.tv store. Play <laughs> Bruna the Fading Light. <laughs> Ooh, that means you get something. Yes. So when I cast get this, a human. you may uh, return target or <laughs> angel. <laughs> angel or human. Uh, creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, you're, you're at 10. Choose Sarah's <laughs> emissary. <laughs> Sorry. Protection from creatures. I'm gonna, <laughs> protection from creatures. Yeah, protection from creatures. And okay. I have an out. But um, does it prevent life loss? No, says the ghoul judge. I mean, this is all I got. All right, pass. All the guns. Draw. Let us go. Plus one to Lee. I'll cast the Scarab God. Mm. He's not a zombie. Mm, yeah. Flavor fail. And I will play a snow-covered mm. swamp for turn. Make a Gary. Oh, would you look at that? 
<laughs> I'm going to tap four. <laughs> tap exile target creature card uh, from a graveyard. I can get any of them. I'll make it Gary. How much? Is it enough to get um, One, two, probably. three, four, five, six, seven, six, eight, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten, eleven. Ten, eleven. Yeah, that's it. Choose the new. I might have said this before, but if someone made a list of the top ten most used win conditions, I'm pretty sure Gary would be at the top. If not, top five. It being a zombie is just icing on a rotten cake. For game two, Jason's starting hand includes a snow-covered swamp, Mox Opal, Vampiric Tutor, The Meat Hook Massacre, with Mox Diamond, Empty the Laboratory, and Lord of the Undead, Mulligan to the bottom. Dylan's starting hand includes four planes, Starnheim Aspirant, Teferi's Protection, and Girapur Orrery. John's starting hand includes two swamps, Gyre Reach Sanitarium, Rogue's Passage, Aether Snap, Whisper Silk Cloak, and Sir Conrad the Grim. Carlos' starting hand includes three snow-covered swamps, Demonic Tutor, Necropotence, Nirkana Revenant, and a snow-covered swamp mulligan to the bottom. All right, here's game two. Untap, upkeep, draw. Oh, yeah. Not punished. Um, no, Shoot actually. Shoot your No, I'm going to play snow-covered swamp and I'll pass. Oh, no. Mm, extra play I have two snow-covered swamps in here. Planes, go. Draw. Gyre Sanitarium. Pass. Draw for turn. Uh, play a snow covered swamp pass. Uh, before your turn. <clears throat> Cast Vampiric Tutor. Nice. And uh, tap, draw. And I'll play an Urza Saga as my land for turn. Sweet. Play a Mox Opal. And I will pass the turn. Go ahead. On tap draw. I'll play a planes and I'll pass. I will draw. Ooh. I can't do anything with it. Can I? No, I can't. I can. Uh swamp for turn. Soul ring. And then one, two, three. I'll cast Whisper Silk Cloak. Ooh. Unblockable shroud. Unblockable shroud. Equipped for two. Pass. Draw a card. There's snow covered swamp. I will demonic tutor. Ooh. I guess I'll just get that. Uh, pass turn. Uh, untap. Draw. So here's my question. If someone were to turn this into, say, a swamp in addition to its other types, uh -huh. does it? it's still a saga, right? Uh -huh. We're still good there? Yeah. That's what I'm saying is I want to make a construct. And I'll pass the turn. Draw a card. Play a land. And I'll play Starnheim Aspirant. Angel spells you cast cost two, two less. Two less. Nice. Yep. And I will pass. Draw for turn. I will play Rogue's Passage as a swamp as well. Thank you, Jason. Got you, bro. Swamp, swamp, swamp. Two will cast Sir Conrad the Grim. Oh. oh. That's a dangerous magic card. Pass. Untap. Draw. Oh. For turn. Snow covered swamp. Uh, Necropotence. Well, I, would, I don't know. Go for it. This is not like, CDH. Go for it. Play Necro on third I'll turn. Get 30 cards and do nothing with them? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> Fill the yard. Yeah, is it end of turn, end step? Uh, get it back? Beginning of, of his end step. So he has to discard. Yeah. So go to my end step. Oh. Is it correct. skip your discard phase? No. 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 That skip your draw step. Correct. Draw step. And if he were to discard a card, it is exiled instead. Yeah. That's right. So now I will get these cards. Discarding... Nice. Three lands, Doom Jesus. Whisper, Blood Gift Demon, Demon Lord Belzanok, Jet Medallion, and Felwar Stone. Ooh. To exile, right? Yes. And pass turn. Okay. Untap. Draw. Go into my main phase. Uh, we have a couple triggers. Activate its construct ability before it dies. And then I get the third chapter, which is... <clears throat> Search your library for an artifact card with mana cost zero or one and put it on the battlefield and shuffle. Now my Mox Opal works. Yeah, found it. Ooh, nice. Solely. Oh no, Mox Opal's online with my four artifacts. What's your dork, Dylan? Two, two. Wait, what is it? Are angels are two less. It's the Dragon Speaker Shaman for angels. I never made that connection. Holy cow. It's yeah, it's awesome. It's um, cool. I'm gonna attack for eight on Carlos. I, I like how Carlos like didn't even hesitate. He knew what was going on. <laughs> yeah, Jason's a CDH player. You have Necro. It's eight cards. <laughs> like, I'm gonna play Mangara. Yeah. 
the diplomat. I have seven cards. Nice. And I will pass. Is that second spell that we play? Yes. Yeah, whenever opponent casts their second spell, I draw. Okay, That's I will draw for cool. turn. Swamp for turn. I will cast the Hammer of Nizan. And then I will attach it to Sir, Sir Conrad. On ETB, right? ETB. So it makes him a 9-4 indestructible? He is a 7-4 oh. indestructible. Dude. But whenever other uh, equipment comes in, I can attach it to a creature I control. Let's, uh, we'll swing adjacent. Just damage, right? Just regular damage. Okay, yep. great. I'm like Just going regular my old fashioned stuff. Yeah. Nine, we said? Seven. 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 Going 31. And I will pass. Untap, a draw. Nope, I don't draw. I literally forgot I was playing a zombie deck. I haven't seen any. <laughs> yeah, what the I'll heck? I'll play this? Cabal Coffers. Oh, no. All your man, it, it, it is a swamp, a swamp itself. Once swamp you played well. that, I was like, yeah. whoa, this is so much better. So much better. I'll, it's not so much mana. So I'll cool. play Archfiend of Depravity. That's not cool, bro. What does that do? You can't keep your creatures. It's not cash money. That's what um, it is. Flying 5-4. <laughs> At the beginning of each opponent's end step, that player chooses up to two creatures he oh. controls, then sacks the rest. Sweet. It only hurts Jason. Cool. <laughs> I like it. I'll do two. And then go to end step. Yeah. You should have killed it turn. when you went to it. Equip it. I know. I screwed up. Okay. I'm going to untap. Draw. I need a blinder. Burdent Catacombs. It's, it just flashes so easy. I I don't my hand? I don't mean to see. My hand? But you draw, oh, what I drew. You, drew uh, yeah. like, you draw like this. I get so excited. And I have to like actively like. Okay. It's easy on my end. All of Carlos's cards are foil, so they just reflect <laughs> they any just, of the light. They just blind you. <laughs> yeah. This is not foil. I have a non-foil card. <laughs> I'm going to get a black blue just, land. Just one. <laughs> hmm. John, you're being attacked. Cool. Eight. Eight. Arr. Your pirate over there? Uh, Yar. <laughs> Yar, a guy be taking one, eight. One, two, three, three four. Eight, I'm going to cast a card from the Midnight Hunt called the Meat Hook Massacre. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> oh, are you kidding me? For four. Why do that? Uh, because it destroys John's command, not commander. Kills everything. <laughs> oh, what a coincidence. <laughs> when, oh, yeah, we have multiple triggers, though, right? Sir Conrad and my thing. So, Wait, whenever. Is it your opponents or everybody's? Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, I gain a life. And whenever a creature I controls dies, each of you lose a life. But that kills but everything. It kills everything. Your stuff. Yes. Yeah. yeah, it kills yeah, my yeah, stuff, okay. too. Everything gets minus 4-4. Four, four. So everyone loses two for the dorks. Okay. And then how many everything else died? You got one from me. Two from me. So total four. Four life. Yeah. Four life. Boop. And then. So now whenever another creature dies, period. Anyway. So every other creature besides Sir Conrad, when they're put in the graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, it deals <laughs> he deals one damage to each opponent. Other than the battlefield? Each opponent? Or and the battlefield. One, five, two, we each three, take four, five. five. It, it's, yeah. it, it's, it's both. Oh, yeah, it's both. Whenever a creature dies or it's put into a graveyard from anywhere other than the battlefield, mm -hmm. so if you mill it, you discard it, anything like that. So whenever a creature does anything except for come into play. Yeah, basically. basically. Like if you <laughs> delve something, like yeah. from, goes from graveyard to uh -huh. exile, yep. right? Yep. 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 And then Meat Hook Massacre Meet stays done. around. So go Get out of here. That card's stupid. <laughs> my card. I need my to get card a bunch draw. of those. Yeah. Like, it is the most expensive card in the set, I oh. believe. Oh, if it's not, it's going to be. <laughs> Smothering, Smothering tide. tide. Go ahead. You're going to pay the tax? Yeah, John, you pay him. I will draw. Carlos and not technically pay. doesn't draw cards. <laughs> Fun fact. I just die. I'm at 13. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> there be treasures? There be treasures in my board. Oh, man. Let's do this first. I'm actually going to. I'm going to tap Soul Ring to use Gryry Sanitarium's ability. What does that do? Oh, everybody all... draws a card and discards a card. Man. Yay. Is anyone paying no, for their draw? No. No. Ah, you're I, a monster. I'm guessing no, right? No. I didn't I'm... realize that would accelerate your mana so quickly. So everyone drew already, so I can't take it back. Yeah, you already <laughs> and we all discard That's a card okay. too. Right? I'm going to discard Infernal Grasp. When I discard stuff that gets exiled, just <laughs> land. I will discard Aqueous Form. I'll just get rid of my land i guess i will tap for colorless and then two more i will cast trepanation blade <laughs> it is mirko vosk's ability for one land instead of four on an equipment my turn pass on tap draw nope i keep doing that I don't you sorry draw step. it's okay 
I'll play Phyrexian Tower. Yay. Swamp. Not foil. <gasps> Six mana for uh, Nakana Revenant. Ooh. Does that double your mana? For his swamps. Just swamps. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah, Since it doubles all, all his mana. Swamps, yeah. yeah. Thanks, Jason. Got you back, bro. <laughs> and then I'll pay two for a Mind Stone. I'm gonna die. I don't know. He's gonna kill himself. I'm gonna die accidentally. <laughs> like baby steps. <laughs> I can't even. Uh, That's why it's so I can't expensive even draw right more now. cards. I'll pass the turn. Okay. Uh, two two love life. Draw. Do I not pay for tithes? I mean, I'm not gonna pay no. for tithes because I mean, you're not gonna ask me, right? You gonna pay but, for tithes? Oh, oh, there it was. Cast the reflections of the chart. Uh, I'm gonna nice. choose zombie. On the battlefield. Um. Whenever I cast a spell of the chosen type, copy that spell. A copy of a permanent spell becomes a token. And I'll pass. Wow. Untap. Interesting. Draw. A legend will kill my own zombies. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, oh, he's looking at our man. stuff. Oh, oh yeah. no! Look what I just did. Look at looking at our stuff. He's gonna take Four it all. Four expropriate and white somehow. On my main, on my main <laughs> phase, return to dust. Oh, oh. Wow. that's fine. He's gonna um, exile. I res- oh. What? Okay. You're not getting rid of Necro? Oh, wait. No. And his mana I, box? I don't want to get rid of I have response after oh. targets. Okay. So. Uh, that one's not split second, right? Okay. This no. one and this one. Okay. Never mind. No response. I just time walked <laughs> myself. <laughs> Yay. Exile. Yes? Yeah. Exile? Yeah, exiled, yeah. And then. Not the hammer. Okay. Secretly, wow. I wanted him to kill my opponents. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. I know. I want to draw again. If you're, uh, living, if, you, if you're not even using it, yeah. then hey, I'm good. Well, the do not draw clause is pretty rough when you're at 13 life. So, true. There he is. Magetta enters the ring. I thought it was Magita. I'm just going to have no idea. Magenta? <laughs> Magenta. Oh. Magenta line. I like Magetta. Uh, the line. Tap. But. I guess I don't know. It is a it comes G-E- from the Greek word mage, uh, mage to any uh, relation to Karth. Draw the turn. In the jungle of war, there is always a lion. I will not pay. Man, I I need islands, so I'm actually gonna Gaia Reach because I want to try and get an island. Yay! Not oh, really. Draw. Everyone draws and discards a card. Oh, Boo! Shit. Oh, is anyone paying? Just let me know when you're done. Or I guess the two of you. I'll discard the rock I belly. don't have two mana. Three people? That's not paying, right? Yeah, uh, yeah three treasure. Okay, I'm going to discard into exile another land. I'll discard oh mind crank. Because I'm very behind in this game. What the crap, what the crap you got, John? <laughs> 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 I think we're dead. <laughs> My turn. I think there's no blue mana. But, but, but. Also That's, <laughs> yeah, if I had blue in any form, I would be a lot farther along um i will cast fire shrieker and then i will pass Snap. oh my gosh wait Up okay keep. never mind i was like did i just did i accidentally no destroy drawing. indestructible no it, you exiled it we're good. yep oh you're good exile? sorry yeah that was my bad i should have said said that um uh, i'll play a dark depths swamp mm. only got a thespian stick <laughs> what does that face mean john nothing <laughs> You're going to Vesuva your opponent's <laughs> land. <laughs> I'm more of a vampire hex mage myself. I'm a thief of blood type of guy. Are you going to blow up my creatures? Right now, I'm not planning. I mean, I have it as a failsafe for like when he sure. fills the board. You can play a few games before I die. I'll play a Vilis Hardcast. Ooh, Ooh, hardcast. Hard draw as many cards as you want. Wow. And you can also shoot I'll die. Dylan's commander. I die, though. But he dies. <laughs> well, so do I. You draw cards first. Yeah. Necro and Villas. One life, two cards. Before I attack, let me... Uh, Necropotence one. Ooh. Draw a card. Yep. Necropotence. I, will. I think when you pay... Pay before, one life. Necropotence trigger on the this stack. This ability goes on the Correct. stack. This will resolve, You'll then draw. I'll draw. So I'll exile first. You, you can stack the triggers. They both go on yeah. the stack. And then are you going to pay for the cards that you draw? Um, <laughs> I'm not paying for any of them. Sweet. Once you draw the me- resources. Is it draw? You got seven mana. Yeah, but I need it to live. Actually, you don't Oh, the Villas trigger. So I'll draw this one, and then I'll exile this one. There we go. Okay. So there's my fact. And then I'll do oh. that again. Ooh. <gasps> draw this one. Ooh. Exile this one. Do it again. 
The real, that's the real threat. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do it one more time. Protect that. Whoa! Oh, more. Hit me. More. More. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, watch it hit me. You gonna hit, call? Hit All right. Yeah, I'm gonna be done there, but I will Ooh. get six Blocking. mana. Just in case. 21, just to spite it. <laughs> Punch me in the face. Oh wait, yeah, I can attack first actually. No. So that's uh <laughs> Oops. He's, he's got a wrath. Attack. No. I'm gonna play Villas Thud Wrath. Yeah. Who <laughs> you drew one. <laughs> you got your dry out of it. That's all you, you used to. him for you wall you wanted. Yeah. You got uh Ugin. Um, Ugin, yeah. Ugin. That'll do it. I think me, me Howick is gonna keep gaining your life. So you're attacking so Dylan. I'm attacking you for four. Okay. I'll take it. No pumps. Five. five. And just play some more mana. Magus of the, of the Coffers. Ooh, nice. Yeah, that one did cost us. I will feed the swarm on the Meat Hook Massacre. Some people's kids. That thing could just immediately kill me. I don't oh, know. Oh, 100%. Where. So I will be done at that turn. At, the, at that, I will draw these from Necropotence. Not, not draw. Don't. Don't. <laughs> they don't will, you. <laughs> they will go into his hand. I have seven cards, and I'll pass I don't draw anyway. <laughs> it's not Ristic study. Maybe I should say about it. Did you want to play? Um, no, I will not. Orphic pool. Thank you for being my opponents tonight. You're, you're welcome. I'll Stop cast you on myself Hulk. before anybody kills me. That's how you play Mono Black. Yeah. Uh, Rot Hulk, Anderson Battlefield. I would get three zombies back if I had any. Um, I'll get back the Ravenous Rot Belly. Um, when he enters the battlefield. I get to sacrifice up to three zombies. See, this is where Meat Hook was going to come into play. Um, and if I sacrifice one or more zombies this way, each opponent sacrifices that many creatures. So, well, well he could sack his rot hulk and, we, and then we each sack a creature. Or he could sack, can can he sack itself? Two. Yeah, he can sacrifice uh, himself. Gotcha. I'll pass. I think that's the right way to do this. Play Angelic Arbiter. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> what, is, what does that say, Dylan? Flying. Five, six. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. No. For seven. Uh -huh. Read the rest of it. Uh, each opponent who casts a spell this turn can't attack with creatures, and each opponent who attacked with creatures can't cast spells. Just, yeah. Just great. Magic. Just great. Yeah, that's all I want to do. I will draw for turn. So I'm going to Gaia Reach again. <laughs> Everybody draws a card. Oh, okay. sweet. And I'm Draw. not paying. And I'll discard. Not paying. Oh, I have so many freaking lands to discard yeah. right now. One, two, three. She cast that angel off of pure treasure. Oh, did you want to pay? Did you pay for your first one? I did not. But do you want to pay for your first one? I don't want to. I don't wanna. Do I what? You cast that angel with pure treasures, didn't with you? With pure, and I have left over. <laughs> <laughs> Money in the bank. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wow, that's crazy. It was worth it. I he can't cast or he can't attack anyway. He got land. Uh, yeah, I finally have blue mana. Hooray! Mm -hmm. One, two, three, stink. Because I can't cast Merkavask unless I cast Cabal Ritual first. That's fine. What's so, wrong with that? Three, yeah. four, five. I wanted to wait for threshold so I could use it for more. I'll cast uh. Merkavask. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> the necro player at eight. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Other people can be greedy too. Yeah, I cast a spell, so I cannot attack. He doesn't have haste anyway, so pass. Don't draw. Don't draw. Don't draw. Don't draw. All right, I'm gonna do one necropotence. Okay. Uh, are you paying for the one? Then I'll draw. I will not pay. Okay. I will pay a land. Play a land for turn. <laughs> pay a life for turn. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Duke of all coffers. You have all the mana. And all the cards. And no life. And we're not dead. Because <laughs> I don't have life. I'm just going to die. I'm like an old wealthy man with infinite money <laughs> and no life. <laughs> it's true. All right. Let's just cast. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm taking long, but I feel like but this is basically my last turn. Yeah, so this is a big I moment. just uh, got to. Yeah, it's. You're right. I do need to attempt this. I have 20 counters on there. What? Or, <laughs> no. <laughs> I think what I do is I attack you, John, with Nirkana Revenant. Okay. What's the damage? What are we looking at? I can potentially pump it by like 20. So it would be like 25 damage or something. Okay. Okay. Then but I once, would choose to block it. Okay. I'll pump it one time. Okay. He's a shade. That's nice. So I'm going to 6 6. 
and now I can't cast spells. <laughs> so I did play a land though, right? I did play a land. I will pass the turn. Uh, draw my one card. Not technically draw, right? Sorry. Uh, yeah. Not a draw. draw. Get my card. Do you want? It? And then this. Wait. One. No. Two, I three, four, five, <laughs> discard. I'll send back your land. Draw. The seductive card. That's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> he was so happy in that picture. <laughs> Wait, who? What? Oh, the guy barfing out coins. <laughs> barfing. Yeah. Uh, go to combat. Very sexy. Best day of my life. Cool. <laughs> You're throwing up money. I'm going to attack. Uh, I'll attack the guy that has 50 mana. Dylan. You attacking me? Yeah, with both. 5-5 five, five menace and a 4-5 zombie. Block the four or five zombie okay. and take the other one. Okay, take five. Oh no no no! I'm no. gonna cast. I can cast my command. No, you can't. No, you attack as you attack. Oh gosh! Yeah. I, thought was, like a... I thought it was creature spells. No, I'm just no. Your deck. that's read the carding. Read the card. Explains the card. <laughs> and I explained the card. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we we dead. I. I don't know what you think I can. Do. I don't know what you think I can do, bro. You got a bazillion mana. I just need more cards. Cards. <laughs> And I will play Breath of Life. Target Ooh. return target creature from the graveyard to play. You can get mine. Wow. I'll bring back Mangara. There's That's like a resurrection. There's a little bit of a card draw, maybe. Right and we'll it reduces the chance that the wrath goes off. Hey. Then I'm going to. Mangara's a human, though, right? <laughs> what does that matter? <laughs> Zombie apocalypse. You get all <laughs> yeah. Would be a shame. I'll go to combat, and I will swing. I shall swing at Jason for five okay. with Manache. All right, that's it. I'll take it. That's all. And I will draw for turn. This is the most stress I've had in the game. So long. <laughs> really? I hate necropotence. <laughs> oh, I'm, not, I'm yeah. not made for it. <laughs> I'm not made for necropotence. It you want to pay for your draft? Oh, I did not. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a little caught delayed. in the tank, as Jason says. No, I'm also caught in the tank. Okay. Okay, I will play Krill Mox, and then I will imprint Aether Snap on it. Oh, snap? And then I will tap that for blue, and then this for black. I will play Limb Duel's Vault. Look at the top five cards of your library. As many times as you choose, you may pay one life to put those cards at the bottom of your library and look at the top five cards of your library. Shuffle all but the top five cards of your library and put those five on top of your library in any order and then effects to redirect that. It's like if that. Doomsday and Ponder had a baby. Basically. So I will pay a life. Yep. Everything with these, all this goes in here. I shuffle it, then I put these back in a specific order. All but the Correct. top five. We're down to Keeper? It's okay. Was it worth our time? I think so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's all that matters. I think so. Okay, I'll cast Infernal Tutor. I am Hellbent, so oh. I will search for the card that I wanted and then... What? What? Did you already have that in hand? What? Uh -huh. <laughs> Why did you do that? Let him be. I'll call it a rookie. Okay. Not worry okay. about it. Don't worry. When I asked I you... I love it. Was it worth our time? <laughs> 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 answer oh, that was was no. no. <laughs> Let the kids play. You could have... Yeah. Well, the only thing that it's good is if you play it now. Uh, yeah, I think that's if why you wait. You're doing to play it, it, then you should have waited. <laughs> I did because not. you could have waited. These are all drawn the cards, Versus, played that card, then you're be playing it, right? And get any other card. All of my land is colorless. Oh <laughs> my god! Remember what I said about tapping lands like an adult, uh, right? No. Like, oh jeez. Uh, <laughs> no, no, they're, they're swamps. They're swamps. Yeah, oh, they're yeah. all hey, swamps. You're good. You got black. You oh, got black. they are all swamps. You have two oh, swamps. It's two swamps. One hundred percent a blue spell. Then I will take it. I got two swamps. I need three. Sucks, dude. I could have just floated one. <laughs> Did you get Doomsday? three swaps? Did you what get Doomsday? spell is it? You got Doomsday. What is it? <laughs> you got Doomsday? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't see it. No, oh. I didn't know that would be the most well, hilarious thing. Your... Oh my gosh. <laughs> Why did I get that? <laughs> What's oh it my it gosh. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. Well, one tap your lads. You can't cast it. That's good. Uh, let's have like everyone it. draw a card and discard a card. Oh, yay. You have to Anyone want more? Pay uh, I'll pay two. Oh yeah, you're sorry. gonna pay for it. Yeah, I'll pay Do for that. it. Are you pay, are yeah, you pay instead. Oh, wow. Just maybe I'll pay for mine. I'll Ooh, discard okay. Grim Grim the Corpse John, Born. You pay for yours? Uh, nah, I'm good. Okay. You can take it. Yeah, I'll pay for mine. I'll take the Bring to Mordor. 
Wait, I could draw, then decide to pay, right? Correct. Yeah, pay for it. <laughs> Trigger. <laughs> I'll play a swamp for turn, and then I will pass. Oh, crap. I have to discard my swamp. Um, don't draw. Play a swamp for turn. I could kill one person now. Yeah. You guys? Yeah. Dylan's 28. I'm hey. killing somebody this turn. Do it. I'm not going to be the first one dead. Do it. Yeah, do it before Maybe I'll course. roll the dice. <laughs> <laughs> Did you play a spell? No. No? Okay. Plenty of people have plenty of counterable spells. Like Infernal Tutor. <laughs> 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 Sorry, John. Oh, I'm, 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 I'm serious. Like, like, that, that, whole, that whole turn cycle. Right. I was, if I kill Dylan, he'll because I'm, oh, my I'm tired. At least in, at this point. And that's why I'm at it's hilarious. At yeah, no, it's just, Okay, I will just roll for it. No, no, no. <laughs> Don't do it. <laughs> Are you going to be paying for it? Maybe. Actually, is there any one ones or anything? Um, no. I don't no. think I'll pay for it. You can have mana. So this will be exiled. Do I draw this one or do I exile this one? Heart. You got to feel it out. I'm going to draw Damn this one. Card. <laughs> <laughs> Suck. This one will be exiled. All right, yeah, so I'm going to attempt to cast uh, wow. Bubbling Muck. Yeah. Until end of turn, whenever a player taps a swamp for mana, everybody it produces an additional black. Oh, so all of so us. So everybody gets double mana oh, this turn. Yeah. Yeah, everyone gets double mana. Okay. So I have one mana in my mana pool, actually, because that cost only one. So I have one black. I will then... Actually, I'm going to do that differently. I'm going to just tap this for... Eight mana and use one of them. So seven mana for the bubbling muck. I will cast Increasing Ambition. The <laughs> five mana tutor, but if it has flashback for eight, I can get two cards with flashback. So if it the thing that would be bad combo is and if win. this is the card I want. Would be horrible. Is that your first spell? First second spell. Second spell. I draw a card. Yep. Bubbling muck was number one. My other two can activate that. So it's okay. Here's the thing. Do you guys have a counter spell? No. It's true. I, I need to just save one. Spell. All right. Here's the thing then. <laughs> Job out. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Yes. Are you paying for Exiling. it? Nope. Yeah, Ooh. baby. Dronic. Paying for it? Nope. Yeah. Exiling. Going. Going. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's going risky. He's at crazy status now. Okay, here we go. I'm going to get use my two floating to activate the Magus mm -hmm. to get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. I will then tap all my swamps. For I love playing mono black like that. One, two, three, four, it's five, six for 18. And then, all right, I'm going to sanguinate for 20. Woo! Nice. Hey, uh, you want to give me some life there? <laughs> Sweet. Um, I have no response. I do. Oh. I'm going to pay four. Should go down to one. Activate Majetta the Lion. I'm trying to think. How do you, you, how do you lose your life? Yeah. Teferi's protection? Yeah. yeah. So I'd have to do this first, then Teferi's. Oh. Teferi's protection in response to the trigger. You'll pr you know, you'll put that on the stack, then Teferi's. And, yeah. yeah. And re retain priority. Just on the stack, stack first. Uh -huh. and that, yeah, that's what yeah. I was doing. Okay. Yeah. So I, I'm doing this. And remember, your, your planes you'll make still... double mana. <laughs> What's that? Your planes make double Your mana. Your planes will tap for a white ah. and a black mana. So does Teferi you say do. you can't lose life? Yes. Your life total yeah, your life total can't, can't change. change. So I'm going to discard those. Um, I'm going to use these four. <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. Four. I do not want to win two games in a row. Four. Especially when it's Did you like win? No. For the Teferi's oh, protection. Oh, yeah, you did win. Yeah. Technically. Yeah. Because of a I, die roll, is what I'm I've doing. I also misplayed a lot, and I could have won. I think, but uh, yeah, I think I. Um, Before my own. So all creatures will be destroyed. Okay. Actually, I'm going to. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to pay? For what that? is he doing? I'm not going to pay. Right. Uh, card. Might as well. Might as well. Uh, uh I did draw. Okay. Now it resolves. Did you want to pay for that one too? Nope. Okay. Yep. Okay. So, uh, these three will die. And then this resolves. Uh, so, and then exsanguinate 
And then you will gain 40 life. Yep. yep. Then I'm at six. Exactly. Yeah. Overstudying life. Total. <laughs> Four mana floating. I'll just try and play as many things as I can. So I'll play um, Leaded Mirror and Swiftfoot Boots with the four. And I will uh, equip my Leaded Mirror. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can totally attack for one. And yeah, I'll go to my end step, put these on hand. I will discard one. John, I'm going to help you out a little bit. You can if you want to. You don't have to. Only if it helps you, you win. To. Yeah. If it helps well, you get the dub. If it helps me bring you down. Right. Well, sort of. As long as it's a direct line to you winning. Sure. Okay. I'm getting rid of uh, Ob Nixilis, Nix Lotus, yeah. Spanish Tart, Burnished Tart, Greed, Three Lands, and Herald of Torment. Okay. And I'm done. Untap. Or phase back in. Untap. Draw. I'll play land for turn. Um, I'm going to play Gisela, the Broken Blade. Oh, nice. Bruna, and, Bruna. Yeah, I wish. Uh, and I'll play Gear Per Ori. So that helps everybody, right? Everybody can play yeah, an additional land, right? Everyone can play an additional land each turn and... And want to discard an extra <laughs> land. And then uh, at the beginning of each player's un uh, upkeep, if that player has uh, no cards in hand, that player draws three cards. I'll swing at you with both of these. For seven. One, one hex for seven, and I'll gain two. Yeah, John, uh, go ahead. Draw for turn. Uh, I will not pay for that, so I'll give you a treasure. So if I had you draw and discard something, is, is that helpful? favorable? Yeah. Okay, I'll do that then. Oh, sweet. Okay. <laughs> Which one is better? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a dumb move. I'm, I'm going to get rid of the pink push before. I'll just I'll do this. I will... I will cycle Fractured Sanity. Does that mill us still? Did yeah, you, you discard a card? You both mill four cards. And then I will draw one. Mill. Oh, oh Pierre oh, to the Abyss. Hey. Oh. Yeah. What? what? Oh, wow. Glory is pay three on upkeep or anytime? Anytime. Instant speed. Um, anytime you can pay three. Uh, and two and a white. Creatures you control gain protection of color of your choice to win the turn. Yep, I am stuck. I will pass. Okay, uh, Lead and Mirror for a black. Mindstone for a colorless. Dark Depths for a black. And I will play Extra Planar Lens. <laughs> oh boy. Um, Didn't have enough mana. I will respond by getting a black mana, and then I'll exile this Snow Covered Swamp. Can you trying to tell me that their their regular swamps because they're Urborg don't give them double mana? <laughs> <laughs> Only oh, snow covered. Can you explain the lens real quick? So it um, when it comes into play, uh, imprints uh, a land, or I may remove a target land uh, from the game. Whenever a land with the same name as the imprinted card is tapped for mana, its controller adds one mana of to his or her mana there of you. any type that land produced. There you go. So that's why you play the snow covered is that way Only unless other people swamps. are playing snow covered and they made go. that decision then you know yeah awesome well, then um and we're gonna damn nation <laughs> take that <laughs> glory. Right board. Right take board. that glory is that your second spell for turn Ooh, Ooh, yep yep he is. played the lens yeah we will pay two Do you have a plus oh, one yeah. for one counter Oh, well, yeah. I have to pay two to activate coffers anyway, so. Good. Pay two, activate coffers. One, two, three, four, two five, two. six, seven, eight, nine mana. Ten. Uh, I get a 2020 black avatar creature with flying and indestructible. It is legendary. Could use a Charizard, I guess. <laughs> it's funner that way. Okay. <laughs> You're going to swing that at John, right? <laughs> I should probably wait for this, but I have six mana floating. Well, let's use one to equip. So 10 total mana, one, two, three, four. So five more. And I'm gonna cast Profane Command. Choose two. Target player loses X life. Return target creature with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Target creature gets minus X, minus X till end of turn. Up to X target creatures gain fear until end of turn. So. I'm gonna have John lose eight life. Boom. And I'm gonna get back Villas. 
And then I will attack you for 20. I take 20. And that is all I can do. Come on, Dylan. Best you, turn. You can do it. <laughs> oh, I sorry, sorry. Can. I um, will draw. Oh, yeah. That's why I did that. Okay. So I'll do one, draw a card. Paying for it? Um, I can't. Exile. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I probably shouldn't do too many. Do it. Let's just fill up my hand. One. Let's do one more. Draw. Exile. Treasure. And one more. That'll be all. Draw. Exile. Then I'll go to my end step. Seven cards. I'll discard. Arcane Signet and pass the turn. And tab up the draw. I'm gonna play my land. You play two. <laughs> good play. Good play two. I have to. Um, I'm gonna play. Sorry, I'm talking to the mic. Um, five. Play Thalia's Lancers. Ooh, that's a good one to get. Into my hand. Sweet. See if there's anything that will help me survive. True. Yeah. Okay. I'll uh, play that for seven. Yeah. Uh, Runa, the Fading Light for seven. Clear All out. my treasures. Gonna get my Gisela. <laughs> Let's flip them. Go, go, what is it right now? Um, at the beginning of your end step. Okay. End step. Yeah. And then That's might as well just That's for flex. just for, for insult. Sure. In response, I'll draw a card. Paint for it. Nope. Yeah, I don't think there's any land that I could destroy that would keep you from killing me. Correct. Attack. Yeah, it's, well, you, you with, still, especially with your lens. You still mm -hmm. would yeah, have lens and coffers. Yeah. Cool. I'll end my turn. <laughs> uh, don't draw for turn. <laughs> can't cast. Uh, flying first strike vigilance, life link, and your opponents can't cast spells with converted mana cost, three or less. Oh no. Play a land for turn. <laughs> <laughs> Just for fun, I'm going to. Here you go. Here you go I'm gonna pay two, and Cabal Coffers for eight nine, and I'm gonna cast Gauntlet of Power. Oof. And then now four, five six. I'm gonna sack this three three. And I'm gonna put Cage Sun out. <laughs> He's, oh, I just snorted. Choose your color. <laughs> choosing? I'm choosing black. Again? Yeah. Because you definitely chose black with your gauntlet too, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll just cast my guy. Cool. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That works. I think Necropotence is one of the hardest cards to pilot in regular EDH, especially without CEDH's zero cost mana rocks and rituals. Either way, this was a roller coaster of a game and we had a ton of fun. For those of you that are here at the end, you are the realist. This is one of our longest gameplay videos we've ever done and I'd really like your feedback, especially if you're here and you've watched the whole thing. Let me know if you like this long of videos, if you think we should split it up so that it's like part one and a part two. Maybe we could do part one for everybody, part two just for our patrons. Uh, or we just choose like the best of the two games and just share that. Whatever your feedback is, I'd really love to hear it. So please let me know down in the comments. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. And remember, keep it nerdy. Ah, I've been expecting you. You are one of the collectors, yes? How many have you gathered so far? Actually, don't tell me. It's better I don't know. Come along, we need to get you away from here before all of them start banging at my door. Since they've given in to its power, they have become very... demanding. Here is the portal. I'm sure you'll be safe on the other side. Here is one of my last orbs. I hope you are able to make it to the end. Goodbye.